Mwanika Idiobe grew up in Uganda with dreams of becoming an aerospace engineer, even though there are no aerospace engineering programs in all of Africa. In 2015, he saw a plane for the first time as he was boarding to come to the U.S. and attend Oklahoma State. Seven years, a bachelor's and a master's degree later, and Idiobe is now working toward his Ph.D. in aerospace engineering. My parents always told me and my siblings that uh, uh, the opportunities of an educated man are far much greater than the opportunities of one who is not educated. And therefore, education was our way out of uh, the poverty and all the, uh, the situation that we grew up in. Mwanika Idiobe took his parents' advice to heart and his education to the United States where he would study aerospace engineering. I would only see a plane on a TV when uh, they were showing maybe the president was passing by or something. Oh, every time I had the noise, I would run out of the house and then look up in the sky, you know. Uh, but first time to come very close to a plane was actually my dream, uh, was my trip to the United States. What was going through your mind when you saw that and you were boarding? <laughs> First, uh, I remember uh, I kept pinching myself. So if I was in a dream, I should wake up. And I say that because, uh, you know, I lost both parents. I lost both my mom and dad. And I had to take care of my young siblings, you know. And when I used to talk to my peers that I was going to go and study in the United States, they never used to believe me. They are like, well, you do not have anything that can actually show that that is a possibility in your life. And then I just have a collection of uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. And the next thing I felt was my stomach drop. Mwanika came to Stillwater eager to begin his studies at Oklahoma State. But when he arrived, he learned his schooling was in question after his tuition had not been paid. I remember I found an, an eviction note on my door telling me, Moanaka, you have 24 hours to leave the dormitories because you've not paid your dues for the first semester. And I was afraid to go to the international student's office thinking that if I went and told them what I was going through at the moment, they would send me back home. We were just trying to figure out ways to help him at least get him through the semester. But I will tell you, I'm amazed by what people's generosity was in our community. I, it would bring tears to your eyes to see older people from a church come and write a check and give it to the bursar's office. I, I, I mean, I was totally overwhelmed. There are many, many people who are involved in helping me through this process. You know, uh, so that's when uh, Seed gave me some scholarships, but Miss Regina was looking for my tuition in all possible corners. And she was able to get some generous people. There were some semesters that we were down to the line. I dreaded the day if I ever had to tell him he had to go home. I just couldn't do that. I just didn't know how we were gonna not do that. We'd come too far. This is how I was able to stay in school, get my bachelor's degree. I don't know how I can ever express uh, what I've achieved at Oklahoma State University. Mwanika has taken full advantage of his time in Stillwater and was named a Senior of Significance in 2019. He has both his bachelor's and master's degrees in mechanical and aerospace engineering and is a thesis defense away from a PhD. He's always very hungry and, and thirsty uh, to learn more. So to see him now, you know, working on his PhD and, you know, taking a job at Boeing in, in order to be able to do acoustic research uh, for, you know, the, the world's largest aircraft manufacturer is, is pretty exciting. One thing I have learned, especially in this country, if they tell you it is difficult, you won't make it, then you say, let me find that out myself. And I've always worked with that. Uh, even when I came here, I mean, it was not a guarantee that I'll stay in the U.S. I persevered. Mwanika has made a successful life for himself in the United States. His ultimate goal, however, is to become a professor 
and bring the first aerospace engineering program home to Uganda. And if I go back there and teach some of uh, the students who are just like me, very ambitious and goal-oriented, I think it will be more beneficial to the society. Every single person who has helped me, I think that's what they would want me to do, is to go pass on this gift to somebody else. For State Magazine, I'm Megan Robinson.